Good evening, children. This is Papa Sean talking to you again. Tonight, we're going to talk about Flory Evans. Now, Flory Evans was like a lot of people these days. She grew up in church, and, you know, she was really good about going consistently and whatnot, but she really didn't have a personal relationship with Jesus. Um, and she never really had given her life to Christ. And um, in her church in Wales, um, Pastor Joseph Jenkins and uh, John Thickens um, were having a real struggle with um, the spirituality of their churches. And they came together and they decided to do a series of sermons together. Hey, Sterling. How's everything going? It's going fine. Hey, I'm concerned with my congregation. How about you? Oh, yeah, I have been. Man, I think we ought to have some revival meetings. Oh, yeah, that'd be a great idea. The pastors put together these two-day meetings, and um, nothing really was happening at first, except for that God was moving in Flory's heart. He was, uh, he was tugging at it, and she knew that there was something up. So she picked up stalking her pastor, and um, finally she got a hold of him and was like, Hey, there's something going on, and he was like, Flory... You need to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Hey guys, thank you for coming out tonight again. Uh, we'll be here tomorrow night also, uh, and we'll keep doing this until God does something amazing. Lord, I think someone's following me, and if they're trying to hurt me, kill them now, please. Wait! Wait, Pastor! Pastor, wait! It's just me! It's just Gloria Evans! Wait! Wait! Okay, Pastor. I followed you here. I'm sorry if I scared you. Um, I followed you here because I went to your revival meeting tonight, and something happened to me. Like, I don't know what it is. I went and uh, I think something touched me and I, I feel like something's missing in my life. Can, can you tell me? Anything well, what about you need it? to do is you need to surrender your life to Jesus right now. Okay? Uh, so later that week, little Flory Evans, 14 years old, decided to surrender her life to the Lord. Dear God, um,. I talked to my pastor the other day, and I was confused, because I felt like something was missing, and he told me to surrender my life to Jesus, and I didn't know what that meant, but now I think I do, and I realize that Jesus, he did die for my sins, and he did rise again, and he did do all those amazing things, and I want to accept him as my Lord and my Savior. Amen. So that Sunday, at the end of her pastor's sermon, she stood up and was like, I love Jesus with all my heart. So that simple statement, that simple statement right there started it all. So then the heavens opened up and light came down upon Jesus and a voice said, This is my Son who I am well pleased. Listen to him. And that is the story of Jesus getting baptized, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, are there any comments? Yes, Flory. I'd like to say something. Um, I discovered a testimony. I love Jesus with all my heart.
Little did Flora Evans know that her simple statement, I love Jesus with all my heart, would spark this revival. Youth left and right were just giving it up for the Lord, and it sparked a massive revival. And with this, they decided, hey, Let's take this a step further. Let's go around to other churches and whatnot and share the good news and with her simple statement and just spreading the so word. So it's like really amazing what's been happening. I mean, all these people are starting to believe in Jesus now, and it's really cool. Like, I mean, I don't think this many people ever believed in Jesus this much. So I think it'd be really cool if we could go to other churches and tell them about it. Because, I mean, if, if we can be this happy loving Jesus, then so can they. I mean, don't you think so? Yeah. Yeah. That's a really cool idea, because I mean, why shouldn't everyone love Jesus just like I love Jesus with all my heart? So, there was this coal miner named Evan Roberts, and uh, he was 26 years old, and he saw Flora's testimony, and he was like, you have to go with us. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the The, like, the whole singing and then your little testimony at the end, you could save lots of people. Like, the Lord's been showing me some things, and I've been going around doing these revivals, and it would be awesome if y'all would join us. Really? Wow. Are you asking me to go with y'all? Yes, I am. I love that. Awesome. That's great. Cool. So, Flora knew that this is where the Lord was leading her. And so her and four of her friends joined Evan Roberts and they started touring around with him. They are weak, but he is strong. Well, okay guys, um, I just want to tell you, I've been learning some amazing things that, God's, that God is doing. And, like, it's, it's blowing my mind because I've learned the most amazing thing. And that's that I love Jesus with all my heart. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, it, and uh, now I'd like to offer an altar call. If Jesus has moved in you in any way, or you just feel Jesus tugging at your heart, come on down and uh, talk with us, and we will walk you through how to accept Him to be your Lord and Savior. Man, I want Jesus! I want Jesus! I want Jesus! I want Jesus! Jesus. He's mine! Mine! Jesus is mine! <laughs> so y'all are feeling the tug of the Holy Spirit on y'all's hearts? Well, let me walk you through the steps here. So, Flory and her four friends basically had a little singing routine that they would go through. And then, Evan Roberts would go through and preach the message. And this right here, this routine, it, it was a massive revival that was going all over Wales. And people were getting saved left, left and right. Like, after the end of the first week, 60 people got saved, and they're like, eh, you know, not too bad. That's maybe a little less than 10 people a day. But then, um, within a year, over 100,000 people were saved. Now, I don't know about you, but that's a God moving right there. So, just think about that. 